Hi, this is Sarah Arrow from SarkyMedia.com and in today's 5 minute video we're going to look at why you need an editorial calendar and if you've ever wondered how a magazine or a newspaper editor can get all of that inspiration for their magazines and newspapers like from thin air um, they actually do it by having an editorial calendar so when you're sitting there thinking about what to write in half an hour's time when your deadline they're actually planning three months ahead and what they're going to be wearing in the spring and when you're reading that spring content they're actually planning holiday wear for last minute getaways in September their editorial calendar is planned quite some time in advance and by doing this they can produce high quality content week in week out day in day out whenever they need it and content creation experts have learned the secret of the editorial calendar too so what exactly is it it's a written plan and there's that old adage that nobody plans to fail they only fail to plan well your editorial calendar is your plan and it helps you produce great content at regular intervals and it leaves you with deadlines that you can use to guide you and make sure that you're producing the content that your ideal readers love and return to again and again and again now the best editorial calendars are the ones that suit your learning style I've tried the online calendar I've tried Google calendars I've tried all sorts of things and what works for me is I have an academic diary and I plan the next 14 months from September all the way through to the following November in my diary and I use a highlighter and because it's there on my desk I can't ignore it I can't shut it down and I can't stop adding to it now you may not be a academic diary kind of person you may have a different learning style but your calendar should suit your learning style now the best thing about having an annual calendar is I can add to it all of the things that happen every single year you know Christmas Easter Valentine's Day St Swithin's Day uh, the May bank holidays Poppy Sunday all of those things happen every single year and if you go and Google blog energizer app or if you're on a smartphone then look in the app store for blog energizer you will see all the kinds of holidays that are dreamt up by marketing companies things like National Jam Week um, chocolate week and all things like that so you can look at the ones that you quite like that will fit and talk to your ideal prospects and put them into your editorial calendar and then you can add in the trade shows the seminars the big conferences and before you know it you will have actually populated the majority of your editorial calendar with things that will appeal to your ideal reader or your ideal prospect so it's a very powerful thing to have it annually and then drill it down to monthly and from there to drill it down to daily now if you're on WordPress you've got a powerful tool built right in you can just install the editorial calendar plugin and have it in your dashboard this is a terrific tool you can drag and drop the headlines around so if you've got something that's not very topical you can move it into another slot if something newsworthy or your news jacking comes into place and you want to run with that it's a fantastic plugin and I recommend you try it if you're a WordPress blogger if you're not try using Excel I know it's old hat to use a spreadsheet but the amount of data you can put in your spreadsheet will serve you for practically ever and it's not just text-based people that enjoy a spreadsheet you can also color code when I do my diary I'm all highlighters you don't need that with Excel you can just highlight the specific cells into the colors they want and then you can highlight the specific content to a specific color so all the holidays could be green and all of the normal content or conference content can be another color 
then you can record your call to action for each piece of content in your editorial calendar. This means you can measure the effectiveness of your call to actions and what appeals to what type of reader. And that's a very powerful thing to do. Now, if you start thinking in cycles, you will get much better traction. Your blog will feel richer, fuller, more organized and your readers will respond to it and what's more they will understand when you make an advertising thing they will know that you do this every now and again it's not something that you do all of the time they know once a month you make an advertising post that you'll have a product launch that you'll have an event you're, you're popular talk about they'll also know how you talk about holidays and various things like that when you think in cycles you get much richer content and that will make you stand head and shoulders about other people now we've talked all about the things you can do but we've yet to mention commitment and that's because I'm approaching the six minutes but you've got to commit to your editorial calendar you've got to make yourself stick to it and the thing is, it's not just for your content marketing or for your blogging. You can use it in social media, email market, product promotions, and lots and lots of other things. It's a really powerful tool. And I'm really sorry that I'm overrunning, but you should consider publishing your editorial calendar. And when you do this, you will inspire your guest bloggers to reach out and contact you with the better quality submissions, the more relevant submissions and you will find that you get much better traction with your content because people know what to expect and when. Now if you need more content marketing help I'd love for you to join our free webinar and I'll help you overcome the main challenges that content marketers and bloggers face. You'll get gifts for attending, you'll get actionable info and it's just 60 minutes of your time to increase your success. The link is in the video subscription and I hope to see you soon.